To understand network functions or NFs, we need to first comprehend the concept of network functions virtualization. NFV is essentially the liberation of network functions from the underlying proprietary physical hardware. NFV involves first virtualizing, then distributing, and then placing these NFs across different infrastructure, and then finally scaling them. These same NFs are the workhorses that will power 5G networks. Five G represents a significant update to mobile services across consumers, enterprises, and the public sector. Five G promises improved bandwidth, latency reduction, and better handling of massive volumes of connected devices. It also promises new business opportunities for service providers beyond what's possible with today's four G networks. These opportunities hinge on the service provider's ability to develop, package, and monetize the underlying network slicing capabilities as collections of differentiated services. In the 5G era, the need to guarantee quality of service, or QoS, based on network slicing makes optimizing NS placement more important than ever. The new generation of network functions placement orchestration must handle cloud-native architectures and support dynamic NF placement across multiple locations. The workaround of just duplicating resources across the board to handle the increased potential load is not cost-effective nor tenable in the long run. Yet, dynamic NF placement optimization is a complex problem. Successful 5G involves providing guarantees around isolation, capacity, latency, and other QoS measures across each network slice. And doing this while managing multiple end-to-end -end slices across diverse infrastructures. This requires a huge step up for existing orchestration systems. As service providers build out their networks for 5G and transition from 5G non-standalone to 5G standalone, they need to update orchestration systems and upgrade to one that enables dynamic NF placement. Concurrent with these efforts, the service providers will also need to revamp the supporting infrastructure. They will need to update the operations support systems, the OSS, to effectively provision, manage, and monitor the dynamic network, as well as the BSS, the business support system, to better monetize these 5G services. It's critical that service providers lay the foundation earlier than later to ensure faster time to revenue for the truly value-added services that 5G can bring. Whether service providers choose to pursue building such systems in-house or with a trusted and capable vendor partner, we at Everything recommend that service providers take a three-phase approach in their journey towards autonomous and net placement. First, static, then adaptive, and finally autonomous. First, a static approach that involves placing NFs across multiple locations, both at the core and the edge, both telco-owned and in the public clouds. Ensure that the infrastructure and the NF matching strategies are sound. In this phase, it will also validate that the SLA constraints are met and verify that OSS and BSS integration are in fact operational and accurate. Then we move on to phase two, where we provide adaptive network slice creation by end users. In this phase, we'll ensure that NFs are dynamically provisioned and deprovisioned based on changing network and load conditions. We'll also take on real-time use cases like connected vehicles, augmented reality, through the use of edge platforms. In this phase, we'll also validate telemetry and KPI feeds across these real-time use cases that we just talked about because we'll be using them in the next phase. Finally, we move to phase three. In phase three, autonomous, we'll employ AI and machine learning to help manage and direct NF placement. And this is where service providers can also utilize the telemetry and KPIs from the earlier phases in combination with machine learning platforms. Service providers can use AI-driven prediction to improve overall SLAs while lowering costs. And those are the three major phases. 
For the service provider who succeeds in achieving dynamic NF placement, the rewards are increased 5G profits and improved shareholder value.